talk, you can sing, and if you can walk, you can dance. And I almost backed out, but I went through with it, and I don't regret it at all. To me, dance is just a human talent. It's a human ability. And if, if you're not comfortable doing those things, you're missing part of your birthright of having a body. The first day, I was a little nervous. I didn't know what to expect. And then when I saw the drummer, Bruno, show up and like start playing, I was like, whoa, like, this is real. Usually, you know, we do a dancing ring where everybody gets in a circle and dances. And I usually don't bring that up until at least the third or fourth week or something. I did it the first class because I had some people who had been dancing with me for a couple of years in the class. And I figured, you know, they would get up and dance by themselves and that would be it. And one of the young women, Sandra Torres, and when we were introducing ourselves, she said, I love it when people look at me. And usually it's just the opposite. It's like, don't look at me. And so those three young women got up and did solos. And then people just kept jumping in and jumping in and jumping in and jumping in. And I thought, this is going to be such a live class. I remember that, that um, we all really participated and that created like a feeling of excitement in the room. And everyone was very eager and optimistic for the semester. I remember that too. That was all, and that's all very contagious. I was really glad that we went around in a circle and uh, told our dance experience because I have very little. Just to hear everyone else's stories too, they sounded like mine, so you know, you, you get to feel like you're a part of something too and uh, with people that are like you. I do specifically remember leaving the class and feeling like really energized and really excited about it and I went and told everyone how much I was going to love this class. We had like a get together potluck thing which was really delicious. People brought different dishes from, from different countries, different cultures. That was a lot of fun, especially that, um, that impromptu uh, drumming circle uh, thing that we did. We started out with a survey of dances. And it depends a lot on when our performance date is going to be. What each student group does is choose what culture and what dance they want to really work, work on, and then we develop a performance out of that. Uh, before the show, we get together, we purchase fabric, and we get together and have sew ins. And I have a joke that this is the African dance and sewing class. We should probably say the African dance and sewing and cooking class, because we get to eat a lot of food. I had seen some performances, but I thought it was a club. I didn't think it was like the class and that it was like a, something that you could do. You don't really um, truly understand the experience until you have it. And so I could never really conceptualize what it would be like to be on the stage. I could only imagine that. And being in that dance room, insulated from a crowd and from a stage and from lights and from costume, that's a completely different experience. Except it was interesting though, I felt like the dance took, it went by in 30 seconds. We had eight minutes, but I, it really the time up there, um, my concept of time was gone. Every semester I, I ask the kids, you know, do they want live music? And they pretty much create a budget for that. And we've been so fortunate to get just top notch people to come in and play the traditional music and the traditional rhythms of the dances that we're doing. As far as drumming goes, I probably I've been probably playing drums for 10 years. Usually, when you when you talk about traditional rhythms, it all brings this sense of community. Therefore, you don't play by yourself, like as if you were a solo artist. So the dancer are dancing, and the drummer are drumming, but it's all connected. This class has taught me how to um, relate with the people next to me and how to dance and live as a community. The truth is that a lot of these dances, I mean, we learn them in the classroom, but really these are social dances of different cultures. The work that Jean is doing is very important, uh, educational-wise and uh, social-wise. She 
cares so much. The way she puts forth the effort, you can't help but want to match it at least and to be very uh, grateful and thankful for uh, what she contributes and how much she actually cares about dance and then about the class and about everybody individually. I saw one of her flyers for the dance class and I thought, wow, that, that sounds cool. So I just went one day, she told me, just come, check it out, you know, no strings attached. And I went one day and I stayed. <laughs>